It's the morning of Tom's C plus test. After a week of intense training, Tom must now convince the examiner he has the skills to drive and control a rigid vehicle safely on the roads. Can I get you to read and sign the insurance and residency declaration off of you? Yep. And I'll take a look at that. Perfect. Fantastic, thank you. I don't laugh at the picture of you <laughs> I've seen mine, I wouldn't do that. <laughs> Fantastic, thank you very much. Are you still living at the same address as Thomas Long? Let me give that back to you then. Perfect, thank okay. you. And if you'd like to lead the way to you. Awesome. So if you'd like to come to the front of the vehicle for me. Yep. It's quite pleasant today anyway. Nice Beautiful day. Better than the rain. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Much better. Yeah, lovely. First up, it's the inspection of the truck. You basically just check in uh, both visually and also here. Make sure there's nothing nothing making any untoward noises. Okay. Uh, anything else you need to check before you did that? Uh, obviously around the side, making sure there's no um, nothing coming out that tank okay. on the side as well. All right. You can put that back down. Thank okay. you very much. Yeah, okay, you just come along this side of the vehicle yep. just a moment. What I'd like you to do is to go along this side of the vehicle and show me how you check the security of the mud guards, please, and the condition. Okay, so again, just yeah. a, a visual check is making sure there's um, nothing loose, nothing falling off of it. Um, and again, just a little, just a little feel, making sure make it looks all nice and secure. All the bolts are intact. Um, as you do it all the way down oh, the side of the vehicle. Yeah, cool. Yeah, so again, just a feel more than anything else. Feeling that nothing's loose. And again, visually checking That's that everything. It's nice and clean. This all looks okay. Well, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> okay. Could you show me how you check that the indicators are working? Yeah, of course. <coughs> Do that as a two-man job. Obviously, making sure that. So the clicker, making sure it's picking up on the uh, dash. Then again, going around, making sure. Okay. So we're talking about the uh, get the indicators you do on the left side, yeah. Yep. Okay. Any others you need to do? Um, we'd obviously do both sides as well. So you do the left and right, and also the hazards. Fine. <coughs> yep. Fantastic. Okay. You just want to cancel your indicator. Two questions I just want you to tell me really. The okay. first one, I'd like you to tell me how you ch check the condition of your tyres to ensure that they're correctly inflated, they've got sufficient tread depth, and that the general condition is safe to use on the road. Yep, okay, so again, a visual check first of all. Mm -hmm. um, and again, scanning across the surface of the tyre, a little press on the side, and okay, you should be able to get the vibration to go through, letting me you've got sufficient amount of pressure in. Again, a visual check, making sure you can't see it's flat, um, and just looking for at least a millimetre of tread across the corners of the tyre. Okay, right, come to the front of the vehicle for me. So again, once again, a visual check, making sure they're all in order, mm -hmm. have a little look underneath, making sure the blades are clean, um, and again, just check the operation of them before. That's the lovely, okay. Right, well, we move to the reversing exercise Perfect. now. Now, I'm sure you've practiced this before, yep. okay, but I do need to go through it with you. If you just take a look at the diagram okay. for me. Now, when I say I want you to drive forward and stop with the extreme front of your vehicle, level in between the cones shown as A and A1. Okay. They're the two cones past this one with a pole. Okay. I'll be standing up there anyway. Next <laughs> now, once you're up there, I'll give you the thumbs up. I want okay. you to set off back, just like the blue line shows. Yep. On the way back, keeping the cone with the pole over to your offside. Okay. I then want you to enter the bay and stop with the extreme rear of the vehicle, anywhere within the black and yellow chevron area, okay. Okay, as if you was backing up to a loaded okay. okay. All right. Now, at no time at all do I want you to go any further forward than the cones A or A1. Okay. So, if you need to take a shunt, don't go beyond on that point, okay? Try not to touch any of the cones, of obviously, course. and try not to go over any of the yellow boundary lines, okay? That's, That's the one just to your right, yeah. and the one down by the fence there, okay? Perfect. Do you understand okay. that? Not a problem at all. Brilliant. Well, this is where you get the chance for a bit of a breather. <laughs> yourself, get yourself ready. Fantastic. Okay, keep your eye on me, I'll call you when I'm ready, all right? Super. Thanks, Tom. Tom must now show the examiner his skills at reversing, stopping within one metre of the barrier without hitting any cones.
The final stage of the examination will see Tom drive for one hour under strict observation. It is a difficult test, it needs to be a difficult test. You know, the whole objective of the test is to make sure that, that, that drivers are safe on the road. The DVSA, the DSA, they have, they have a responsibility to make sure that drivers that are going on the road are safe. If Tom thought his natural gifts as a driver would be enough to carry him through his rigid lorry test, the rigour of the exam has crushed that hope. It's the one serious fault marked at the steering. Okay. Mm -hmm. If you remember the traffic lights where we turned left where it was tight. Oh, well, we had to, yeah. Indeed, yeah. Well, I said to you on the approach, this is a little bit tight, okay. You understood, you steered late and you also took some time to get the full lock on, which meant we were significantly over steering. That's when I stopped for that. The vehicle will go around there quite easily. Um, but uh, of course, we didn't get any occasion. Of course, you then have to reverse back out into live traffic at a traffic light, which is potentially quite hazardous. Okay. That's the reason you've not made it today. Okay. As far as the rest of it goes, one or two gear, gear faults, which yeah. I'm sure, pretty sure you're yeah, aware of. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. Uh, the other thing I'd say that's repeated just a couple of times be, be sure that you check your right blind spot on every occasion before you start moving on from the side of the road. Okay. Uh, I'm afraid today all I can do is wish you all the best for your next attempt. All right, I do wish you well, Tom. Thank all right, you. Thanks thank very you much. Thank you. Cheers. Yeah, massively disappointed. Yeah, real shame. Um, I thought we'd, uh, I thought we'd have cracked that, but unfortunately not. Unfortunately not. Like I say, silly little mistake. Came up to a junction, thought there was, thought there was a bit more room than than what there was. So started turning around the junction, and, uh, and and Keith said, you know, watch out. It is a fairly tight little turn. This and and uh, unfortunately wasn't expected it to be quite as tight as it was. So um, had a railing kind of sneaking up on me, and I thought, well. The best thing I can do is is keep your truck in one piece. Stop and have a shunt. Stop. I said, you know, am I right to, to pull back slightly? Um, they said, yeah, if, if that's what you feel is safest to do so, which is what I did. Um, and yeah, unfortunately, that, that meant that that kind of put me on a, right, on, a, okay. on, a on a serious one. So it sounds like it's a catch-22 situation because you had to take the shunt back. Yeah. Uh, yeah, you're not allowed to take the shunt back, yeah. so he's failed you for that. Yeah. And, it just highlights how difficult the test is. Yeah, absolutely. Um, absolutely. And you know, Tom's a very good driver. Um, I know he is. He knows he is. And it's just highlighting every, all the time to everybody that it's a bloody hard test to get through, isn't it? I thought we cracked it. I um, thought you were cracking it. I really the, did. The, so. the the rest of the uh, I thought the rest of the drive, for me, I felt felt absolutely fine. I didn't think we were doing anything anything overly uh, overly bad. Um, all felt all felt fine from 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 my side. For the rest of the drive, it was. It was just that, and like I said, I, I wouldn't have thought that would have been a that would have been too bad because, like I say, it was it is a, a tight corner. There was nothing around me, so I'd have yeah. thought that was a, a fairly was the safest thing I could have done in that situation. Okay, I mean, I guess in his judgment, it's where the backing of the vehicle is. Yeah, absolutely. Is it backing backwards onto a main road? Yeah, absolutely. Um, and not being there myself, I don't really know yeah. the position of the vehicle. But it's something we can go over when we practice. Yeah, again. absolutely. Yeah, we'll, we'll go to that junction and we'll get it now. Make sure we don't cock up again. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Absolutely. Cool. Next time. For me, you know, I'm a professional driver and, and for me to fail it, it was like, because it is so tough. It is a very, very tough test. So I'm going to demonstrate a perfectly executed reverse now. In your own time, Tom. That's not bad, Tom. Yeah. Yeah. To get a bit closer. <laughs>